What's going on guys? So, we got a new coding episode for you today. Uh, so, before we get into the actual coding things, I like to talk about two things first. Uh, first one, I'm still sick, so my voice, uh, I don't know, you know, it's probably going to be different, my nose and stuff, so you're probably going to hear some coughing, some sniffling, I'm about to pause. And then, my air conditioner is on, you might be able to hear that in the background. I'm not turning it off for whatever reason, in March, it is super hot, so, yeah. That is, <laughs> that is, that is that. Let's get into it. All right, so um, you guys know Dragon Slayer Two is coming out, and I'm hoping to get this video out as soon as possible so I can have the other parts. Um, well, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out exactly what we're doing, but I think this is more interesting than Volkarath, in my opinion. Uh, when you think of Dragon Slayer Two content, you think of Volkarath. That's like the big one. I don't even know how you pronounce that boss. I really haven't watched much of old schools or anything like that. Um, and that's really the big thing. That's what everybody's expecting, but. I feel like in terms of code, that's not going to be that fancy. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know the mechanics of the boss. I'm actually going to have to look into it and figure out what we can do, what we can't do. But I'm more interested in, in this idea. And this is the Rune and Mythal Dragon. So the Rune and Mythal Dragons, or, or Addy, I guess, because Mythal already exists. Those are, um, you know, they're, they're, they're cool. But I, personally, I always liked what, what R3 did with them, where they kind of made them like, they're, they're like really tough and I think that's what we're gonna do in here I'm assuming they're really tough on old school as well I, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do now is before we actually get into this video too much I've got my little item list and NPC list and whatnot I'm actually gonna read up on the rune and adamant dragons and figure out if there's anything I need to know before we get started I really wish I was a better coder sometimes because I swear the mechanics behind this seem pretty interesting but realistically I just don't think it's something we can do uh, we don't really have any code for healing, a monster healing itself, and that's probably something that's just kind of above my head. I don't really know how, how to go about doing that. I know, maybe it isn't, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the times, I, um, I don't, uh, just don't, I, I, a lot of the times I'm just not willing to try. I just assume it's something that I can't do, but let me give it a, let me give it a look. Let's see. What monster, these videos are kind of meant to be longer, so I don't really mind about pausing right here. Um, am I showing the IP? Because this is probably the file that would have the IP in it. I'm not. That is super lucky because I can see the IP right there. It is... Have I showed it before? I'm going to have to watch this fucking video. Darn it. You know, I'm going to save this in two parts so I, I don't have to watch the full fucking thing. Hey, we're back. Um, actually, uh, what was I doing? Looking for monsters. Man, I don't know if I can do this video. Too sick. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try. We're going to try. Mob. Uh, what's the monster? I'm th I mean, the Vespula heals itself. I, I would think that looking at Vespula and its healing and whatnot, and then figuring out if you can maybe adjust that. There's some other abilities. Are any of these actually coded? Like, what's Jad's, ab Jad's ability? Just the switching thing? What is this? It just rolls a random number generator, and if you land on it, it hits you damage. Or you can't even see what I'm looking at. Let me scoot this up. Um, I have no clue if this even functions. I think the server, or at least, at least part of the files, they were meant for like a, uh, a newer server because there's like Hob Hobgoblin and Geomancer in here. And I've seen some files that supports summoning. I don't think they'd function. Obviously, the server's been butchered apart by multiple different people through multiple different years. But... Um, it seems like that's just doing a random bit of damage. There's some nice little graphic and everything. There's nothing fancy, though. What is this? This is all commented out. Player. I got no clue. Corporal Beast of Ability. Is this where it, like, heals, it heals itself for the core, right? I don't even think that that functions, though. I really don't. Um, this is if it's... If you're using magic, it uses magic on you. I don't, I don't know. Either way, though, no, none of those are, are what would help. Honestly, something like this file right here would probably be a good... Uh, something like right here. Okay, so... Um... I think this is similar to the Tecton ability, where if it rolls, if it drains your prayer, uh, huh, 
just trying to think. You know, this might be one of those things where it just really has. It just comes down to trial and error. Uh, let's see. Um, Vespula. That's the, the one. Where's its healing done? We could probably use the two of these files to figure out. Get level threes. Okay, so that means you just. Oh, it doesn't heal itself. You just can't hit it. I forgot. What heals itself? The um the, the one that uh, Dark did. The uh, grotesque guardians. Where? Oh, right here. Dust them down. Okay. What is the actual code for the uh, healing? Yeah. See, I feel like if I actually tried, I could probably do more things. I need to stop being so lazy, and just assuming that everything is just too hard. Because even if I can't do it, at least you know, at least you guys know I tried, right? Um. So this is. It's not controlling exactly his health. I need to figure out exactly where he's getting his health back. I need to like sort of combine these two files, if you will. So let's, um, people always hand on me if you use a notepad. I like using a notepad, especially for these videos. I feel like everything's a little bit better. If it's um, a thick file, I'll use, uh, I'll use notepad++. Plus plus. And then if it's a, um, I got a cough. And then if I think I'm like messing around with a lot of things and I'm probably gonna make a lot of errors, like what we're probably gonna do, I'll use Eclipse because Eclipse will tell you if you fuck something up like right now, boom. Boom, turns red and it tells you, hey, you just did something real stupid right here. So let's go to, um, Barrel. Hey, big girl, what are you doing? Let's just open this up. File, save as, let's try, um, let's try Ruin Ability. Oh, I should've saved that as, oh shit, I should've saved that as a Java. I'm dumb. Let me delete that. You, got, you gotta save it as a Java, I'm stupid. Rune, Rune, we'll just make it fancy. Rune Dragon ability. Dot Java. Boom. So now, um, if we refresh right here, here we go. So this is now the Rune Dragon code. We don't, we don't really make any changes there. Don't need that anymore. All right, so switch this. Rune, dragon, ability, boom. So, what is, is this just if the, uh, no, okay, so this means if your prayer is above zero, it has the ability to do this right here. Um, how does that function again? I think it just can randomly do it, so I'll just switch it to a random number generator rather than having it rely on something. Because I think, it, I think isn't the Onyx Bolt spec where it heals itself? I wish the dragon will heal for whatever it hits on the player. What is the chance of this? Is it the same as... Uh, we'll do a 20% and... What's the, yeah, but like, what's the chance of a, of a bolt effect, like, activating? 10% chance of activating. Okay, we'll probably stick with 10 then, because obviously you wouldn't have candor and headgear or anything like The dragon doesn't have a headgear, you know, candor headgear on or anything. What does this thing even drop? Wrath runes. The uh, metal lump, which I believe is used to make the pickaxe and... Or not the pickaxe. The um, the kite shield and the plate body? I believe. We don't have wrath runes yet. I know that I said D-Slayer 2 content. I don't think we're going to add the spells because the spells will be a little bit harder. And um, that'll, that'll definitely be a dark thing, so... I mean, I, I think in terms of coding the spell, I could probably do that, but just like in terms of like adding the cash... And adding the correct, you know, um, interface and whatnot, that's that's a dark thing right there. So we'll have to wait for that heal. But he's going through, um, he, you know, he's focused on his real life right now, so. We're uh, flying solo for uh, a few days. He's still around, like, he's replying back and everything. It's just, uh, he's focused on that, so. Alright, so let's see. We got to, let's get back to clips. What? No, we're fine. Uh, Shoutouts to Daniel and what's the other guy? Shex, Chex, all the people who um, developed uh, Vincello and the people who Vin who uh, did Darklight. Because technically, we don't actually we don't have an, uh, our source wasn't really Vincello. It was Vincello, but it was Darklight. Darklight was a version of Vincello that other people worked on as well. I'm not entirely sure the full extent of who developed what, but uh, shoutouts to the people who you know did it before us. So, I can I'll just keep his name in there. 
Um, I think we can just switch this to... Is there another one that's just completely randomized? The Tecton is probably just straight up random, right? Oh no, Tecton's is also based off of... I don't really want it to be based off of any combat restrictions, because that would be weird. Because it would just proctor too much. I like it to really just be completely random. So let's see... Alright, let me mess around with it a little bit. I feel like this is probably going to take a lot of trial and error. And, um, and it could end up taking like 30 minutes just on this own thing right here. So, um, and I'm also not too confident that this is even going to work. So we'll have, to, we'll have to mess around with it a little bit. If I make any progress, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I haven't really tested to see if it functions. But I don't have any errors. I'm trying to move my mic so it's a little more. I never know where to put this thing. I got a Blue Yeti Snowball. I actually really like the quality for it. I think it sounds pretty good. I just, it's, it's way bigger than I expected it to be, so I don't have any room for it on my desk. Uh, hopefully you can hear me fine. Anyways, so, it's so basically right here, we have it just, um, the random is just random. I'm setting it to zero now, just to make sure everything works. Uh, so theoretically, it should hit you a random number, and then also heal itself for that same number. Um, hopefully that function, that works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the rest of the dragon coded. Um... PC list, it's fine. Rune. Uh, there's two. Scheisser. Uh, is there more than two? Oh, there's plenty. I'm gonna assume that this is the right one. 8091. Let's just go, let's just go with this, the, the, this one. So if you haven't seen how to add an NPC, it's kind of a multi-step process. Let's get, um, let's actually just find another dragon. That's probably the best way to copy and paste. I mean, the good thing about dragons is the fact that they have um, generally the same animations as other dragons. I mean, you can add a million dragons of a million different colors, and it should, in terms of code, it should be pretty simple. So, I do like that aspect of it. I know everything kind of looks retarded right now. Let me get that fixed. I think I feel like I'm using that word too much today. I'm using that word too much today. There's... Oh, yeah, right. Obviously, there's revenue dragon right there. Oh, I'm stupid. Alright, so it doesn't really matter what number works. So we might just have to try. Because I, I know that, like, um, there's probably, like, throughout the quest or something like that, there's probably versions of the dragon that are not um, attackable. I mean, there's, there's just probably just a, a, a bunch of different, you know, reasons why there could be multiple dragons. So we'll stick with that for there. Um, and then we'll stay with the same combats and everything for it. Rev drag. Rev drag. Nice. Really just want to get this situated. And then I have to remember where you actually give a monster the ability. Uh, so it's just a rune. It's kind of weird to be doing rune first. I should have probably done adamant first. That would have made more sense, but it doesn't really matter. So that should be so that should be that in terms of adding the monster. It's already added like in the data and whatnot. You just have to add it to the actual server itself. So that should be that. Um, uh, which is it? Mob abilities. That's probably it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right here. You can see. So we'll just copy and paste. Boom. Let's get the eighty ninety one rune dragon is. Oh. Rune dragon, and then we gotta import that as well. So right up here, we would do. <coughs> the same thing. Boom. And um, just for the sake of testing, let's go to... Um, I don't know where these things even are. Where are they? I said something like about the dig site pendant. They can be found in Lichthrin's vault. Eesh. I assume that that does not have its coordinates readily available. Let's uh, let's Google it. Hmm. So this is basically where it should be, I believe. Um, guessing we don't have correct maps yet. I don't really know. Like I said, Dark has been busy with things. Um, I have no clue. I don't know if this is if we were doing something wrong. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll probably just go and put them in dig site. I don't. I think that that kind of fits in my opinion. I feel like if we were going to find some sort of crazy dragon 
it'd probably be uh, either underground. Maybe we should. You know what? Oh, yo, yo, that's a perfect idea. That place uh, I used for the monkeys in in Dark Asylum. Uh, let's see, Dark Asylum, Dark. Fuck it, I gotta remember how to get Monkey Archer. Nice, nice, nice. Boom. Boom. Oh, wait, no, I went below it, though. Is that gonna work? There's a... Pl no, I went, like, below it where, like, the, um... I don't know. Yeah, this is right. Yeah, 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 true. This is right. Okay, cool. Uh, there's a lot of banana trees. Should I go with that other place? You know that place that's, um... That is... Uh, you use it for the watch... As watchtower quest? Watchtower quest. Where you fight the blue dragons? I feel like that place could work even better. Maybe you use, like, the dig site pendant to get it. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll think of something. Something, something adorable. Oh, we have to figure out those coordinates, though. There's an area. Uh, if you, I, I, I don't know if I'll remember to link this map, but I will if you ever want it. It's actually a really good map, especially for developing, because you can see the coordinates of everything. Um. Honestly, it might even be better. It might even be quicker to just search for it because I assume other people. Stronghold of security, pit of resistance. Oh, well, I've never heard it like that before. Uh, I mean, because you can go even further and find more things up here. You gotta figure out where the hell this cave's at. There's the cracking place. Yeah, this honestly might just be quicker to, to Google. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll just fucking Google this place. Aha! Uh -huh. So, shoutouts to Hacker for having a nice little course list that includes all of this. Uh, I think right here probably works. What the hell is this thing? Why is it that I'm just, like, not remembering what the hell this does or is? Okay, so, we might actually, might, we might actually be able to use that in the future. So, I think this is a good plot, a place to put them. How you'll get here, I'm thinking dig site pendant makes sense. We could use that. That works. Uh, so, let us just put one here for now. Spawn some figs. Go all the way to the bottom. Boom. Of course, you don't want to go to the bottom. You want to go to the top. Did I really just... Shit. Oh, okay, that works. <laughs> I thought I just I thought I just did something super annoying right there. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. How you doing, baby? Are you holding up? She is just chilling. As she normally does. She has two modes. Beat up the pugs. Chill. <laughs> Those are like the two modes. She's either like running around fighting the dogs. Uh, she just has. She just likes to play, but she's a uh, Chow Chow. And if you're not familiar with Chow Chows, they're, they're bigger dogs. She she weighs about 50 pounds, and our pugs are small dogs. They weigh maybe 10, 15 pounds. So she's uh, she's just a lot bigger than them. So whenever they play, it uh, you know they, there's a chance they get hurt. So we always gotta stop them. Peaches, I think Peaches likes playing with her because they always like run. They're, they're, they're the main two that. That, uh, that we have to worry about. So, uh, do we function? We do that there. We don't need that. Let me make sure I'm not doing Dark Asylum anymore. I've actually done that before where I've, I thought I was coding our server and I'm coding fucking Dark Asylum. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. The, uh, the files are just there. It's not like anything's going on with it or anything. Just showing Skype. Nice. I don't think most people care. I think it's only John that cared. Hopefully, hopefully they don't care. Hopefully you can't just hack everybody. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Did we do the ability part? 891, redirect ability. Did we delete? Did we save that? <coughs> yes, we did. We don't need this anymore. Uh, let's test it. So let me, uh, let me, uh, let me do that. Where's the miracle? Boom! Still showing Skype. Uh, what are we talking about? Shit, it tells you to join the Skype. <laughs> Fuck! Dang it. Um... Does that work? Is that... Oh, I'm just showing more of it. Oh, I need to stop. Oh, I'm just showing more. Jeez. Alright. Uh, well, 
Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me save this, this clip so I know to edit the... That's, that's why you're not really seeing the many streams, uh, coding streams, because I, I think just the odds of me showing things I'm not supposed to show are just way too high. At least with videos, I can edit it. And, and, I, and the problem is I'm really lazy, so I have to, I have to make sure... It's not necessarily lazy, it's just I forget, I'm forgetful. I'm way too forgetful. Uh, so I have to remember that, to do that. So, hopefully we spawn in here. It's probably going to smack me in the face. It is. It doesn't have... It doesn't... It's invisible. Now, this could be an issue... With a lot of different things. Um, hopefully it's just because it's the wrong ID. Let's keep trying different IDs. I really hope the issue is the ID of the monster. If it's not, that means that there's some issue with the data. Nope. Cool. Okay, so this is not the correct one because this is the one you put in your house. That's why it has the collar on it. But... The fact that it's even here at all is awesome. My my mine was my fear was because this has happened before where the data just wasn't added correctly. Um, and, I, and the the main one I remember would be the wyverns and the grotesque guardians, which just they were invisible, and it was an easy fix for dark. It's just I have no clue what he did or how he did it, but that's not the issue here. It was just the ID. So um, I guess we'll try the thirty one. Uh, how many are there? Like actually thirty one, ninety one. We already tried ninety one. Okay, so there's only three, but it includes two. I, I, I see what it's doing. So then if it's not this... If, okay, okay, so this should be this last one. Or it was the other one that was just messed up. Worst case scenario, we get the one with the collar and it just looks retarded. It doesn't even look retarded, in my opinion. I think it just kind of looks funny. This this blue, this rune dragon is just kind of tamed. One of the uh, one of the watchtower guardians above us uh, put a collar on him and named him Sparky. Maybe I'll add like, a nice little examine option that says his name is Toby. Or, or I'll let you guys name him. I don't know. We'll see. Let me uh, let me try the other ID and we'll see what happens. All right, and boom, no collar. So this is not your pet. If we did want to make a pet, though, that there would be a pet. Could get a little collar on it. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I like pets. I just feel like if you do a pet for everything, it takes a little bit of away from it. That turn animation is odd. So that's something we can do. Why would it have a different turn animation? Is it? Oh, is that the... No? No, what what dragon did I take? Oh, I took the Celestial Dragon. What about, like, a blue dragon? Oh, no, it has the same animation. I assume that's just, like, a default animation. Blue dragon, yeah, it's the walk animation. The walk animation, stand animation are all fine. It's that turn animation that's weird. It seems like we don't even know... Huh. All right, well, I'll, I'll worry about that a little bit later. The, the thing is, it's, it's working, so that's good. All right, let's get ourselves a P-ring, and let's just kind of, uh, oh, it did, it, why did it go invisible? Why, what, 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 what are you doing here? What's all this, these errors? Is it, like, <coughs> that's, Frustrating. Is it? All right. Let me um, slog out here, so I'm not fighting it anymore. Uh, let's turn off the animations then, for combat. Let's just make them. Um, are they like what are the blue dragons animations? Eighty nine, ninety two. Eighty nine, ninety two. Um. I guess 80. Alright, let me look into this a little bit and I'll resume with any progress. Alright, so what we did is we gave it the animations of the blue dragon. If this doesn't work, we'll try without any animations at all. No, okay, that seems good. That seems fine. Alright, so let's smack it with our whip. Bam! Okay, so now it's got roughly two, two, 217 health, right? It's it's just lower, basically. That's all we need to know. So, that... Oh, you know what? I never added a thingy that supposed to tell you... That's supposed to tell you when that thing is triggering. That would have been useful to know. Because You know what? Let's, let's do that real quick. Let's just log out. So then we can know if that part is even functioning. Let's just add a message to it. Um, just copy this message right here. I was thinking about giving it that same spirit shield effect. I just feel like I'd be cheating. 
I'm copying the effect over from Tekton. But then again, you know, it's like one of those things where it's like I'm, eh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like my thought process there is, is false. So if it spams us boobs, theoretically it should be proctoring. Um, do you do you have to have it like this? I didn't think you did. I thought. Well, I guess maybe you kind of have to. Maybe it has to have more than one option. Maybe if it's just only one option, it's always. Gonna... I don't know. I don't think that that matters. I'm pretty sure that it doesn't matter. But let's just do that for the sake of of doing it. Okay, so let's try this again. Smack you. Boom. So now you're roughly 225 health. Boobs. Just proctored right there. I proctored again. We'll have to see what it hits when it actually proctors. Okay. Is standing far away a better call? Is that going to make it happen more? I don't think it will. I don't, I don't think the... It was literally just completely random. Uh, right now, it's essentially doing 50-50, so the fact that we even... Okay, so Proctor's it hit a 9. So that means, theoretically, it should be healed up a little bit higher, right? Let's just, uh, let's just sit here for a bit, AFK. And then, eventually, it should have done enough damage to me to have healed itself back up to full, if, if this is, in fact, working. I think... If it doesn't work, my guess is I'm not properly determining that this is the monster. That's my guess. Um, I have a few, a few ideas on what I could do to improve that. We'll just... We'll see. Just kind of watching it for a bit. Okay, yeah, see, that's what that's what should happen right there. It should the, the hits should stack. It's weird that they weren't. Because it should normally hit me, and then... Because the, the, the secondary effect that you just saw right there should should stack on top of it, because it's not its actual hit. So it should have healed by now. What's, we've got nothing on, right? I don't... I don't think it's healed. Alright. Let, uh, let me mess around with it a little bit more and see what we can do. Alright, so I've got the anim the uh, the Onyx Ball animation now, so we know in that process. I'll probably remove the, the, the boobs. It's still not healing him, though. I've been sitting here for a minute while well, you can see all the boobs in my chat, and he's probably not going to gain any of health. He gained one health, but that's probably just natural regeneration. Um, hmm. I'm guessing this right... This is, this is definitely a problem. Let's get rid of that, because this... I was think I was pretty sure this is the problem. I just gotta figure out how do I. Um, let me let me look around. All right, so I figured out the issue. E one is basically the monster, and I think E two is the person. At least that was the assumption in switching the one to the two. That makes sense. Um, I do notice that it can go above its health, which. Um might be an issue you could probably get really unlucky and it could just keep healing itself and keep healing itself i i i kind of like it though i kind of like the fact that my my main concern off the top of my head would be somebody purposely tanking them just to keep getting a hit and then it um and it just kind of keeps growing and growing and growing and growing and growing I, I'm guessing the way to fix that would be if you look at this little runner right here, it says get levels and then add. Let's try doing that. Uh, let's, you know, let's just copy this. I think I think that that's the reason why he has that, is to prevent that. That is my assumption. Let's find out. So, um, E1. Ah, uh, I don't know. Let me let me, let me let me look around. And this is definitely gonna be an issue because like the the number I have it set to right now is is random. If we if we if we allow it to hit the maximum of Onyx Bolt hits, which is something in the 60s, it could theoretically be healing itself 60 each time this happens, and that could get uh, very annoying very quickly. So we gotta figure this out. Okay, so this is actually the next day. Uh, we're working on some things. Let's take a look at the the Rune Dragon Code. So this is what we have for the Rune Dragon Code. 
I did, um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I did have Dark help me. He was he was available, so I, uh, I hit him up for this. And basically, this is what this does. is It stops it from going over its maximum health of 330. Uh, so, it'll have a 1 in 10 chance to... I think it's actually 11, because I think it counts the 0. Um... Either way, though, one in ten or eleven, and then if it, you know, if it if it happens, it'll do anywhere from ten damage to sixty-two. So sixty-two being the max. I'm not actually sure what the max spec is for um, Onyx bolts. Sixty-two feels right. It feels around there. So we'll just stick with that. Let's move, remove the boom message. Um, there's the graphics. I don't think there needs to be a message. You'll you'll see the graphic in your head. There's really no way to predict it or know anything about that, but yeah, and, and, and it does do damage regardless of what you're praying. And then you have it healing. It's going to heal um, up to 20. So it, it, it's not going to heal exactly what it's uh, what it's damaging. I think the um, the healing is like 25% of whatever it hits. But I feel like that's some pretty complex code that doesn't necessarily even need to be in game in the first place. So we'll keep it to the randomized. Uh, we're also working on the... Uh, what are you replacing? Weird dimensions also working on the adamant dragon so the adamant dragon is similar it uses the ruby bolt spec so the ruby bolt spec is actually um kind of a different one obviously it's meant for monsters with more health the monster itself using it on you is kind of weird i'm not sure about uh how that functions it also can poison you I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna incorporate that because I don't really like our poison code, and I don't want to force people into um, messing with poison and whatnot. If if it's not a hundred percent the way I would like it to be, you know what I mean. Uh, until we can have uh, the poison works, and you know, getting rid of the poison works. It's it's more so about preventing it. Like you'll just keep getting repoisoned. So yeah, I don't know. I'll think about. It. I'm not, I'm undecided on if I want to add the poison effect, but for now we'll just stick with the enchanted ruby bolt spec. So what I'm going to do with this is, since I'm not actually going to do the Ruby Bolt spec per se, that's going to be kind of crazy. Um, actually, I don't know if this code is going to... You know, we could probably use the code we, we originally had where it would just where it would just remove the... Because um, it doesn't... Obviously, it, it can go over... It can go under the 300. Let's probably remove this line, and we're going to re-add our original code... And just make it a minus instead of adding. So it'll it'll subtract 25 rather than... Or not 25. We'll, we'll do something different. But let's... Um, honestly, I think it was literally just like this. This, this right here was the... Um, minus, let's just say, 10 for now. Is that going to work? Does it have to minus equal? Yeah, okay. I think that, that should function. We don't even need that right there. So what I'm gonna have this one do is I'm gonna have I'm probably gonna make this a little more rare. I feel like this if this proctors too much it'll be annoying as hell. I'm actually gonna really make this um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna increase what it can do. <coughs> oh, I'm dying every day, I'm getting more sick. It's like the other way around. I started off fine, got a little bit worse. Oh, can't talk anymore. We gotta get this video done. The style doesn't really matter if you're wondering. It um, it's gonna hit regardless. Whatever it's like set to hit, it's gonna hit even if you have maximum range defense. So these these hits are really a lot more effective. So I'm gonna have it hit um, possible of 75. So you could probably get like murdered by this thing. You you can essentially get one shot because this hit will stack. So let's actually make this a little bit more rare. Let's try 25. And what I'm gonna have it do is it's gonna lose. Um, how much is it supposed to lose? 20% of the damage is hit points. I'm going to make it lose a lot more health. What is... Uh, Adamant Dragons. It's got 295. I'll say anytime this hit proctors and it hits you that really high hit, I'll have it do at least 30 damage to itself. So it is... Um, you know, it is... Uh, it goes both ways. It's going to hit you a lot and it's also going to hurt itself, so... Um, for the uh, graphic, we can actually just go in here, search bolt, and find the find the uh, the graphic for it. Seven five four, I believe. Boom. All right, so this video is getting a little longer than I'd like it to. 
Um, I think we're going to speed things up a bit. In terms of the dragon itself, it's essentially done. I'm going to give... They're going to have normal dragon effects. I'm actually going to give them a lot better stats, just so they're a little tankier. Probably base the numbers off of this. The weaknesses will be the same. Um, interestingly enough, this one has different weaknesses than the other one. Oh, no, no. I'm looking at the attack styles on the card. Stab, magic, and dragon hunt, crash well, Those will be the three things that are really, are really good on this. Uh, the drops, I'm going to just kind of base them off of these drops, keep them a little fancy. The uh, slice, limbs, all that, we'll do that. That's all kind of straightforward. I'll just sort of recap that towards the end. One of the main things I really wanted to do with this idea is I'm going to add this to... Let me uh, log in real quick. Oh, wait, is the service still on? Yes, it is. Nice. View drop table. Uh, so, let's go Mythical Dragon. So, I'm going to add the Chewed Bone. I'm going to change the rarity of the Chewed Bone from Uncommon to Rare. Uh, actually, should I make it... You know, I'm going to keep it just rare. That way it's not it's not yelling. Ah, I decided. You know what? I might make it a rare, a very rare drop that yells. So anybody who is smart enough to stockpile these, uh, good job, I guess. You know, no, I, I can't do that because I'm going to upload this video first. <laughs> I can't really get away with that because I'm going to upload this video first so people will see this and then stockpile them. Um, I don't, I don't know. If you want to camp Mythical Dragons right now to stockpile two bones, go for it. I can't stop you. I, I, I might just leave it a normal rare and then make sure the drops are a little less. But basically what you'll do is you'll do what you do on old school. You'll, you'll do the pyre log shit. Um, it'll be a little simpler. You don't need a log or anything like that. But, uh, you'll get a random item. Could be a, a visage, could be dragon full help, could be any of the new stuff, the slice, the limbs... Um, you'll, you'll have a lot of options, so it should be pretty cool. It's kind of like a little mystery box, and all three of these dragons will drop it. And I think what I'll do is, um, with the Mithril, it'll be a rare. With Adamant, I'll keep it uncommon. And then with the Rune Dragon, maybe we'll do com we'll do we'll just do common or something like that, just so there is a disparity in between their rates. And then I'll just make sure whenever you actually use them, there are there is a potential you'll get something less good, so it's not like... You could just kill a couple of green dragons, get a bunch of them, and you're looting. You're looting for days. So, I'll uh, I'll show that part because that could be interesting. I'll uh, I'll make sure that that part is in this video. Boom, boom. All right. So, um, but yeah, let me uh, let me finish coding up this adamant bullet spec, making sure all that works, and then we can pretty much just kind of add them in here. That's done. We'll we'll add the items, which I'll just recap. And then we'll add the we'll, we'll do the chewed bone part, and that part I'll, it'll probably be a little more interesting. So I'll show that. Okay, so the effect seems to be working. You can see it's damaged a fair bit, and that was not done by me. My question is, if it kills itself, what happens? So I'm just gonna sit here for a bit and let it keep attacking me. All right, I just got one health now. Now we just gotta wait for it to do it again, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, see what happens. I'm assuming it's gonna kill itself. And then, I, I, I don't know, I honestly feel like it's not going to kill itself, it's just going to go on like negatives and it's going to weirdly glitch out and you just, we'll see, we'll see. The uh, the animation it's using to attack you with, that little green spurt, I'll change that as well, that's just a placeholder. Alright, it just did it, and it is not dead, so is it in negatives? It's at zero. So then you would just hit it, and I don't think they have drops coded. Hopefully I would have gotten a drop there. Hmm. Uh, looking at this code, I guess we could make it so that it... I think if we just switch it the other way around or whatnot. Let me, uh, let me, yeah, let me actually attempt that. Let me, let me see. Because I feel like that could probably have some, some odd repercussions, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like it, it could probably bug out in weird ways that, um, would probably rather not, like... For example, I don't know if we would have gotten a loot there. I don't know how much experience we would have gotten for technically. Because, I mean, it, it said 227, but it was really a zero. I don't know. Let's just, we'll just see if we can fix that. All right, so I think we're done. Let's take a look at everything and make sure we're not forgetting anything. I do have to add more spawns, but uh, we can do that later. That's not as important. So, in order to get to them, you're going to teleport home. And actually, it might be faster to go to Hall, quote unquote Hall, and go down the manhole. There is one of these manholes located in the LZ as well. And like I said, there's only two spawns right now. So these things right here, uh, let's take a look at the drops. 
So we got the Adamant Dragon. Oh no, I, oh, I gotta type in Dragon again, don't I? Oh, uh, you know what? It's probably easier if we just search Chewed. Adamant, boom. Right, so essentially the same. Changed a little of the drops, whatnot, but the, the, the core of the, the loots are the same. So, the dragon key pieces right here, you need all four of them if you combine all four. Um, let's see if I can remember that. Yeah, well, that'll work. Actually, I want to test to make sure that's 22881. Does that work? Boom! So you create that. Um, I have to update my client, but whatever you have, uh, there will be a teleport option on it, and uh, that'll teleport you to Warcraft boss. So those are just a uh, just an uncommon drop, so that it shouldn't be too hard for everybody to get them. And they have uh, they'll have a little bit of value, and you can disassemble them for some decent components if you get duplicates. Uh, so the, they drew drop these chewed bones, and this is the thing I was talking about with the chewed bones. Let's loot a couple. Thirteen. Uh, so like five. Shift drop some stuff. Yeah, that should work right there. And then let's get ourselves some redwood logs. I did decide to do redwood logs. I changed the ancient cavern teleport from and so now instead of teleporting you right to the mythal dragons, you get teleported to this spot, and you can just go down here to get to the mythal dragons. And then here you can construct on the pirate site. So you have a um, basically a one in ten chance of getting something like a dragon full home. Uh, I'll show you what these the total loots. So. You can get the best things you can get would be the dragon metal shard, which is the other half of the plate body and kite shield, um, and then the dragon full helm, which is mostly known for having good rare components. You can get dragon two ender, chain body, square shield, dragon key pieces, and then some super stores, so all kind of dragon themed items. And those are all possible loots. And again, those are all rare. Oops, probably another thing. Those are rare drops on all of the tables. Uh, Vorkraft is coded in terms of drops and a couple other things, little bits and pieces. All of the stuff should be working, should be on the back. The the cape that we just <laughs> we dropped earlier um, functions as well, has teleports. The necklace, I'm actually pretty proud of this. Um, this is something I, I didn't think I would be able to do myself. I thought this might be something I'd have to... Um, either just not code or have dark helping with but I was actually able to finish it myself so let me um, teleport to category this is probably a good spot um, I think I actually okay I think it's actually not I, I, I did make one mistake with the t this is just a typo so it'll be fixed but this is technically the the necklace so if you have the necklace just pretend like this isn't here you'll um, let's uh, drain our prayer a bit which might actually be hard because this thing has prayer bonus I gave it the same stats as the Beads of the Dead because its actual stats would be kind of bad compared to this server. So you can see we have 96 here, and if we have the Bone Charm Art, it does only work with the Bone Crusher. If you bury bones, it's not going to work. You have to have the Bone Crusher. But realistically, no one's going to be burying bones anyways. That's why I decided to do it that way. And we should get ourselves... Boom! Two prayer points. And you see it does give you a little message. And then if we take both, of, I'm pretty sure it's just a charm, but if we kill one again, if we kill one again, I guess I can P-ring this one. Boom. Nothing happens, because that's just the normal thing that would happen. Um, so if we do one more time, you're going to see, you're probably thinking, oh, well, what if it, this is going to go to 100? No, I was able to cap it, so it should, uh, should never go to your max level. It should do 99, I believe. Oh no, I did do 100. I'm retarded. That's possibly problematic. I'll have to look into that. Look at me. I, oh, I sounded so confident. I sounded so confident. I just set myself up for failure right there. It's it's 4 a.m., so leave me alone. I got it. I swear it was working a second ago. I updated, and now it's not working. So now i got to figure out. Okay, so it did work there. Does the 100... Oh, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it adds the one. Uh, it goes over, but once you're higher than 99 or, or whatever, it doesn't do it anymore. So I guess you can't technically get 100. I did it in increments of two, 
because I felt like two was probably the most useful number. Um, it's not based off your bone. Every bone would be the same. I feel like two is probably worth using. Um, it's gonna really, it's really gonna be helpful for places like the um, bandits and whatnot. So that's dropped from Vorkaf. The Dragonfire Shield thing, uh, the the ward, <coughs> it has stats, but I still have to add the actual like anti dragon fire aspect of it. So there's that um, Warcraft head thing that all functions. You can make the Slayer Helm. Slayer Helm works. Um, do I have the ability to do that? Let's just let's just spawn one. Oh, let's we'll try to. 21890. 21890. So there's the. Apparently, there's an issue with it that I do not know about, and it crashes your game. Huh. Is it because it doesn't equip correctly? 21890. I could have sworn I added that. No, it's there. I don't know. Let me look into that. I'm glad I tested it because I didn't know that it was there. But uh, that's going to do the end of the video. This this was really just more so about the, uh, the Adamant Dragon, Rune Dragon idea. Um, as for actually coding Vorkath, you're, you're going to see it. I don't really want to spoil boss mechanics. So I think you've seen all the things that matter. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.